Reverse Logistics Tips E-commerce sales rose around $250 billion in 2020 as U.S. consumers preferred to buy using e-commerce methods. During the holiday rush of 2020, e-commerce sales increased around 37%, with total retail sales rising around 7%. The U.S. Census Bureau announced total consumer spending online was up 44% for the full year of 2020 over 2019 numbers. The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic largely drove these numbers with reduction in in-store purchases and nearly every retailer, including many small businesses, developing e-commerce sales options for the first time in order to maintain sales and revenue throughout the pandemic. E-commerce predictions for 2021. With the massive rise in e-commerce, fulfillment of orders became increasingly expensive as parcel carriers experienced capacity shortages and pricing rose. The final mile is often associated with bearing an overwhelming percentage of total fulfillment cost. As expected, returns also rose with the increase in e-commerce sales. While most businesses clearly think through their strategy for e-commerce fulfillment, most do not put the same amount of thought into reverse logistics. Going into 2021, E-commerce is expected to grow another 15 to 25% year over year, which will maintain pressure on all the players within the e-commerce fulfillment space to expand capacity and meet customer demand. E-commerce return rates are typically between 10 and 20%. Here are a few tips when planning your reverse logistics procedures in 2021. Reverse logistics procedures. Expect more e-commerce driven businesses to think not only more deeply about their fulfillment plans, but also to give more thought on how returns will be handled. Just like with traditional supply chain planning, procedures should be developed to address reverse logistics needs with an emphasis on controlling cost while retaining strong customer service. Look to build out a network of logistics partners to help with your reverse logistics needs. Consider working with multiple traditional parcel carriers for the bulk of small item return needs, but also look at more regional and national LTL focus providers for larger items. Return policies. Keeping your customers happy is a top priority as repeat customers will often make up around 80% of total sales volume. The Amazon effect on returns and reverse logistics has been a major factor since Amazon's easy and no questions asked return policy now makes easy returns a near necessity for even small e-commerce companies. With the rapid rise of e-commerce sales, it's become increasingly easy for customers to switch to competitors following a bad experience or an issue on the return side. It's important to make your return policy very clear to customers before they order. Customers also expect the actual return process on their end to be easy. It's hard to beat the Amazon approach of simply printing a shipping label. Strongly consider working with your parcel carriers to let consumers easily download a printable shipping order for any needed returns. Data analytics and automation. Keep track of return rates on a per item basis. This can provide guidance over time as to the amount of returns to expect. If certain items are being returned more often than others, it could signify a quality or packaging issue. The financial cost of returns should always be included in the financial planning, and driving down return costs can have a larger impact on your bottom line than you might think. Inventory management systems that can easily generate necessary data, visibility, and forward-looking demand planning are an integral part to any efficient e-commerce firm's internal planning and supply chain department. Work with partners. Share reverse logistics projections with your current logistics partners. Proper projections will give you the financial forecasting needed to stay profitable while also letting your supply chain partners match their capacity to demand. Many firms are now starting to offer reverse logistics services as the industry sees the increased demand in this supply chain niche. For firms that ship larger products like home decor, furniture, beds, appliances, or something even like a pool table, consider working with asset or non-asset based 3PLs that specialize in both reverse logistics and LTL freight. Consider also working with more regional, final mile, white glove, and LTL firms. Often they will provide better service at a better rate than the national carriers in specific lanes and regions. Don't forget that many times the product is not only going from the end consumer back to one of your fulfillment centers, but also from your fulfillment center back to a supplier. For example, if several appliances are mechanically faulty, your supplier could take them as returns. This further increases reverse logistics costs and complexity, but is an often overlooked step. An important consideration of fulfillment and reverse logistics partner selection is the location of their warehousing, consolidation, and fulfillment centers. Just like supply chain planning, reverse logistics and return planning is different for each company. 
Since the items sold, fulfillment model, delivery model, and internal processes differ significantly between companies, there's no one-fits-all method to ensure your reverse logistics processes are efficient. Going forward, e-commerce will continue to grow, and with it, so will reverse logistics. The companies that accurately plan, manage, and create strong reverse logistics procedures will have better customer service, be more lean financially, and be more poised to take advantage of growth opportunities going forward. Stay tuned for more Z-Modal videos coming along very soon. Subscribe and like if you haven't already.